Welcome, and uh, first of all, we just want to say, uh, well, this is Brad, I'm Carter. Um, we just want to say thank you very much for uh, your willingness to be a uh, counselor out at whatever camp you happen to be a part of this summer. Um, counselors are a really big aspect of the camp, and, and frankly, I think Brad and I would both agree that, you know, um, arguably the most important part of the camp is the counselors and so more important than us certainly more important than us yeah you know us creeping in the background and doing all of that you know you guys are where the rubber meets the road and uh, you guys are the ones that the kids are going to remember and so uh, we really just appreciate your willingness to uh, to be out there and um, volunteer and that kind of thing we're so. very thankful and so this is the purpose of this video is to go over just a few rules for you uh, as a counselor it's more it's more about rules for you rather than uh, what you're going to be enforcing out at the camp. We'll go, we'll go over that a little bit, but it's going to be mainly f uh, rules for you to keep in mind as a counselor. Right, right. But to keep it interesting, uh, every time that we say the word camp, Carter is going to put a marshmallow in his mouth. So <laughs> let's get started. The first part of this video is going to be um, just some of the, era, the, the rules that you guys will need to help us enforce for the campers and so um, just the kind of things that we expect of them that we're going to need them to do and we're going to need you guys to help us enforce that so it starts off with uh, all campers are required to be at all um, all scheduled activities you know devos classes um, morning exercises we don't do those but anyway all, all campers are supposed to be at all the activities uh, in case of illness, <clears throat> make sure that the counselors are notified. Uh, make sure that they don't treat their own illnesses. You know, we, we uh, have them turn in all of their medication and whatnot beforehand. Um, honor and fair play will be expected in all activities. Uh, don't, don't climb on the roof. I guess that needs to be said. <laughs> But just don't do it. Don't go under the cabins either. So I guess that's a that's a no fly zone on both ends of the cabin. Stay in the so middle. So you're, you're good to be in the middle. Cabin. Yeah, you're good to be in the middle of the cabins, but not on top or bottom. Um, <clears throat> no scuffling. No scuffling of any kind. Don't don't um, challenge anybody to fisticuffs or or any fisticuff related activities. No wrestling that's or good. anything like that. Well, this is important for all camp related things. Uh, this is a very important rule. Uh, no radios. So if kid brings a radio, send him home. They're Same way. <laughs> They're big, big, big marshmallows. <laughs> I might have to say camp just a few times. Uh, no tape players, CDs. Uh, you get the idea. Anything that's going to kind of distract them. We kind of do a cell phone rule as well uh, out of camp so that if they have their cell phone on them and it's spotted, do they say? You said I had camp. Oh, <laughs> I, that was an accident. I'm sorry. Uh, if they, if it's seen by by a counselor or something, we'll take it. So just anything that's going to distract them from the camp experience, we don't like it to be out there. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that one was an accident. Uh, there's a quiet time out at the grounds uh, that. <laughs> Um, for the neighbors from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. so we have to observe that just be quieter around that time uh, every camper will serve on various work details this is more just kind of on the last day of camp to make sure we clean it but there will be some uh... <laughs> you, you, there's no way you're gonna fit them all uh, there's definitely gonna be work things to do <laughs> sorry I'm a little distracted I don't know why uh, no camper shall leave uh, Any time unless they're accompanied by a staff member uh, and permission granted by the director. Building and grounds are be to left clean and in good repair. I'm, I'm trying to like make sure that I don't say it now. I, I feel bad. <laughs> Which is the opposite of what my original intention was. Alright, just a few last ones. Every captain is expected to remain for the full camp session. It's required to wear shoes at all boot activities. And actually, we want to wear shoes all the time. No matter where you're at. Swing is around doing physical things, swing, swing is around swing time. Visit to the cabin must be supervised. You can't go by yourself. Why sleep places? 
Yeah, anything. It's important. Thank you for that. So, uh, maybe that wasn't the best idea. No. <laughs> um, so Brad has actually graciously offered to uh, be the next one to uh, shove marshmallows in his mouth when we say the word camp. He's, he's just that kind of guy. So. Gotta, gotta be fair. <laughs> uh, but the next one is uh, just kind of general, um, general standards for, for you guys. Kind of some of the stuff we expect and we need to see from you out of camp. So um, we, we really just want you guys to know that you are going to be um, the examples. You guys are going to be examples out there. Um, and so, you know, a lot of this stuff you can do before camp, you can do before we get out there. I said camp. Um, and, <laughs> so no. and just kind of uh, in, in preparation for your time out there. Uh, you know, just start by praying. Pray for the campers. Pray for wisdom when you're out there. Pray that, um, you know, pray that you know, God's able to use you in the ways that, that you know He can, that we've seen Him do in the past. Um, remember, you're there for the kids. Uh, you're there for them, and you're there to support them and help them and encourage them. Um, avoid all situations where you're alone by yourself with a camper. We'll, we'll go into that when we get uh, into other different policies out of camp. Um, and remember, just, you know, set an example. You're going to be the person that they're going to be looking to. So thank you very much. The other thing you really want to make sure is that your campers are keeping hygienic. Uh, you want to make sure that they take showers, you want to make sure that they change their clothes off, and it kind of seems obvious, but for some campers it's not, so you just want to keep an eye on that in your cabins. Also you want to make sure that you're being appropriate with your campers at all times. Again, it might seem obvious, but um, you want to make sure that just even things that might seem like uh, harmless, like tickling or wrestling or things like that, keep to a minimum or especially just like contact with your camper in general. You know, uh, give them a bubble, keep it, keep your distance a little bit. Don't share a bed with a camper, you know, don't, anything like that. Uh, even just appropriate information about yourself, sorry, inappropriate information about yourself, just don't do it. Also know how to discipline your kids. This is important. Um, if there's any kind of unhealthy situation arising, uh, you need to do it in love. Deal with it in love. Don't ever get to the point where uh, you're going to hit a camper. That's the last thing we ever want. Ever. So don't do that. Don't, don't uh, do that. We will not have you back. <laughs> no, we, um, we will not have you back. Yeah, no, no, no kind of physical discipline. Don't grab them or even like humiliation or hazing or anything like that. Not at all. Any kind of uh, pranks or anything, don't yeah. do it. Yeah. Don't encourage it because the campers might want to do pranks. Do not encourage that. Remember, you're, you're the grown-up. Uh-huh. You're the one that's supposed to be example. It's really easy to not say camp when I... <laughs> dang it. When, when I'm keeping it in my mind. Um, and definitely not threats either. Don't, yeah. threaten, don't threaten your campers. I mean, if, if a situation gets beyond your handling, essentially, talk to the director. Talk to Brad or I or whichever camp you happen to be at. Um, if a situation's beyond, you know, your capability to handle it, just talk to us. That's that's part of the reason we're here. So we're very serious. So <laughs> we can deal with it seriously. <laughs> so um, the last part before we kind of get into some of the uh, more uh, serious policies is uh, cabin devotions, and we just want to make sure that you take those seriously. You know, you, you've heard Brad and I both talk about it to you before. Um, you know that that we both uh, take that very seriously, and it's, it's it's a really important part of camp. It's a really important part of the campers um, growing and, and uh, being encouraged and being ministered to. So we just want to make sure that you guys take those per, uh, take those seriously, take them personally, um, you know, maintain order, don't let it, you know, get into all kind of silliness and joking, um, encourage participation, uh, but just be prepared to, to work with what the campers give you, you know, if it doesn't end up looking exactly like you expect it to, um, that's okay, you know, remember that, that they're on a certain level and they're going to behave on a certain level, and so you as the, the counselor need to be uh, able to work with that. Just debrief the day with you. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And and I, one thing that's particularly important is you know never never force or frighten somebody into um, you know making a decision for baptism or something like that. So um, you you really are just there to be an encouragement and a helper and a teacher. So.
as you can see, we have uh, dropped the marshmallow act. Um, this part is not not to say that it's not all important, not to say that it's not all necessary, uh, but but these next few um, policies and that kind of stuff are, are particularly important, and so we, we wanted to take a, at least a moment um, to to be serious about it. Um, this is the Delano Bay Christian Camp Child Abuse Policy. Um, one thing that's particularly important is that we protect the safety of all campers. That's that's arguably our top priority is to make sure that all the campers out there are, are safe and cared for. Um, something we definitely need to do is uh, follow the two staff rule at all times. And basically what that means is um, <clears throat> it needs to be a two to one ratio, either camper to staff, staff to camper. Um, don't ever be one to one by yourself. Um, if you need to be one to one, and there are times where campers need to talk, campers need to uh, talk individually and that kind of stuff. Stay in sight of, of somebody. Stay in sight of you know, as many people as possible. Just kind of to protect them, to protect yourself, um, and just to kind of make sure that everything is uh, being handled the way it should. Another thing that's important is sometimes uh, the campers might open up to you about things that are happening at home or certain things that uh might certainly shock you, but also it's vitally important, especially if it's related to abuse, uh, that you just need to report that to the directors. That's that's kind of number one top priority for you. Don't if someone tells you a secret, uh, you know, from back home or something that they're struggling with. Uh, as a general rule, you probably should report it to the directors. But let, let us let us figure that out. Let us handle that. Yeah, you you don't need to to carry that burden with you. It, believe me, would just be better for you and for the camper right. if you just report it to the directors. Yeah. This next part is the uh, Delano Bay Christian Camp accident process. Uh, I mean, you know, most of you guys have been out there before in some capacity. Stuff happens. You know, people get hurt, you know, uh, things things kind of go a little bit, uh, not nuts, but I mean, accidents happen. And so what really needs to happen is immediately after the accident, um, you need to report it to us, you know, uh, us. Uh, you need to report it your to director. your director, yeah, whoever that ends up being. Um, if there is a safety issue, like, like there is imminent danger from a or to a camper, um, you really need to separate campers and staff from the issue right away before you even, uh, before you contact your director. Um, unless there is, an, of course, an imminent threat to yourself. At that point, you need to get yourself out of there and contact your director. Um, if the accident needs a nurse, uh, make sure you, you contact the nurse before you contact your director. If there's some kind of, you know, blood or protruding bone or anything we, we like don't, that, we don't specialize. Don't, don't, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what to do with that. So <laughs> you definitely want to make sure that you contact the nurse or medic, uh, whoever's on, on site there for you. Then go and contact your director and make sure that, that they're aware of what's going on. Kind of just expanding on what I was saying earlier about sometimes campers are going to want to confide in you and confess some things to you. Uh, and that's good. We, I, you know, that's, yes. that's what you're there for. Yes, it's very good, and I mean, you want to be there to help your camper, of course. That's that's very important. That being said, there are a few things that must be reported, and we're not just saying like morally. It's it, uh, you know, there's there's a lot involved in it, but there are a few things that must be reported to your directors and uh, things like that. And it's it's sexual abuse, physical abuse, or illegal activities. So if there's anything that your camper tells you where uh, they were involved in that in some way. Uh, that needs to be reported to us uh, as as a camp policy, and just um, then again we'll deal with that. That's that that <laughs> sounds weird to say like it's above your pay grade, but like I, I don't want you to have to. Right, deal with you, that. you guys shouldn't be burdened. Yeah, with, with yeah. dealing with that. Let let the directors deal with that. Um, it's very serious stuff. Again, that's to help the camper. That's to make sure that they're in a situation that's going to be beneficial for them in the future. So those three things in particular must be reported if uh, a camper confides in you. Well, we, we really do want to thank you for your time. Um, you know, we, we really are very excited to work with all of you this summer. It, um, we, we've all seen it before. There are a number of awesome things that go on out of Delano, um, you know, God has been good to us. God has continued to bless us through this camp. And continue to bless us through men and women like you who are going to be out there. Like we said, you know, the counselors are the most important part of camp. 
you're gonna make a camper's experience. The campers don't say, man, remember that good director out of camp? They're gonna say, no, that counselor that was in my cabin. They were ones that I love. And it was, they my life. And so, thank you. I hate both of those. <laughs> <laughs>